Hello there Sagittarius, how's it going you guys? My name is Kelly, I'll be doing your reading for you today and uh, I'm glad to be back. You know, I, I used to do a lot of Sagittarius readings but I got kind of tied up for, for, for a minute. So, but anyway, um, I'm really happy to say that I'll be, you know, doing your readings every day. So Sagittarius, this looks good too. It does. I'm kind of expanding a little bit. I can't just do one sign. I have to do more. I've been kind of lazy and I can't do that. But anyway, <laughs> first thing we got here is Inguaz. And Inguaz is, uh, is very potent, uh, potent energy, uh, Sagittarius. It's, it's male energy. You have it twice. You have it over here in the advice. Inguaz is potent. If you're not wanting to get pregnant, be very careful, Sagittarius. Because like I said, this is a very procreative energy. Um, <clears throat> most likely, um, it's, for most of you, it's, uh, for most of you, it is a, it is a business venture. And you know, you've got a lot of blessings here around you, Pisces. I mean, <laughs> see, I'm, I'm so used to doing Pisces. So you have a lot of uh, blessings around you, Sagittarius. You do. Um, this could also indicate some sort of gifts, but really, uh, I honestly think it's more of the blessings that you have around you. And, uh, yeah. And then I see Anzus here. Now Anzus is talking about um, it's talking about communication, and Anzus is good news. All right, it's good news. It is. It's good news about some sort of a venture that you want to try to do to make more money. I, you know, I pulled I pulled out the Ace of Pentacles. This is like, you know, this is in the material world. This is like, kind of like you know, a new start, just bam, it's coming out. It's like, here you are. <laughs> I can't really ex explain it or describe it, but it's very, very positive and it has to do with your money. All right. So now it looks like you're kind of sad about something, uh, Sagittarius. And maybe you're sad about, you know, Maybe maybe you're sad about a past love or something, or you or something. I'm thinking it could be that it could be also um, just a bunch of other things too. You know how things pile up. You know what I mean. It's not just one thing. It's just you know it's a bunch of things. But uh, you know, with Ingwa's here too. It's saying that whatever that problem is, it's it's about ready to be solved. Yep. So you can smile. <laughs> this is going to turn around and be happy in a minute. All right. For real. Because, I mean, right now you might kind of feel a little sad, but you're going to be happy. In a, in a, you're going to be happy pretty soon for sure. Because, I mean, look at this. You got the Ace of Cups. Now this... Is talking about possible to me. It's new love. To me, this is love coming into your life. Um, it could be something else. It could be just something wonderful coming into your life. But you know, you got two aces. You got, you know, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. But you know, with the Ace of Cups, uh, you know, it's right next to Temperance. And temperance is talking about balance, of course, but because you see his foot on the ground and his foot in the water there, he's talking about balance. But, but if you notice, this angel is pouring two cups together to make one. So this could be someone offering you love. Yeah. And then, you know, and with the fool, I see you uh, starting for sure. I think, I think, uh, I think that the fool is 
is more relating to uh, to this new venture that you're doing with you know with your money that you want to do with your money. I think you're going to go ahead and jump on that and go for it. So I don't think that this has to do with the love part. The love part, it's coming. All right, the angels mixing and mixing it together. So, um, but in the meantime, uh, you know, you're going to get start start this this new venture here with your money. And I don't know, maybe some maybe this new love has already come. Maybe this new love is already here. You know, because I do see, you know, you know, if you're a female, I see male energy twice, you know. <laughs> so anyway, I don't know, whatever that means, but this is very positive here. This is talking about the don't worry. I know you're a little sad, maybe a little bit right now. Um, that's going to go away. Um, yeah, it's going to turn around. Let's see, what else can I see about this? Yeah, just expect some sort of, uh, some sort of uh, communication. Yeah. That communication is going to change everything. It's going to turn that Wong Yu right up into the upright. So, yeah, things are working for you. I know you, you may feel slightly uh, worried about something, but <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry, Sagittarius. It's going gonna, it's gonna to work out. So let's, let's get into these oracle cards here. <clears throat> the first one I pulled here was the gatherer. And the gatherer is very, very, very good. And it makes sense, too. It, it really does. It makes sense uh, with Gable right here. Blessings. Yeah. And it says right here, look at the resources you already have at hand. This is a time of abundance. Everything around you is ripe and ready for harvest. Banish the notions of scarcity that have limited your choices and colored your destiny. Pick your food I mean, sorry, <laughs> pack your food for the winter and start with the new, <clears throat> start with the low hanging fruit that is all around you. So start, in other words, it's saying that you got so much abundance, you can just, you, you can start packing food away for the winter and still eat off the, the fruit that's just, I mean, it's major abundance. So, and I think that's going to have to do with your money. So, I mean, let's see what this one here says. This is the mystical shaman. The mystical shaman. When the mystical shaman appears, you're invited to consider the ability to live without attachment. You are called to create and dream your life, to act, inspiration, and divine impulse without fixating on a known story of success or achievement. Can you in partly observe stories and tell yourself and others? What if you could become a mystery to yourself? Who would you become if you stopped telling the tales that had de have defined you up until now? <clears throat> you do not have to live in a story that has roots in the past. What is, what is there no need to explain you to anyone, not even to yourself? The way to your most extra extraordinary life is to become a blank slate and allow the form of your dreams and desires to show up as it will. This is a sign of manifesting a life beyond your wildest dreams. Wow. I hope you got that. I kind of like, I, that's a rip and read. I didn't read that first, so. <laughs> My bad. Sorry, Sagittarius. But this is talking about 
you know, you manifesting your dreams and your desires. And it looks to me like you're doing a pretty good job of it, uh, Sagittarius, because I see I see this money right here coming in. I, I, I feel it here with the Inguas too. I just kind of, and then with the Fool too. So yeah, I, I think, uh, I think you're on the right track. And I also see new love coming into your life too. So what else is going on here with Sagittarius? Oops, come on. And I hope that that new love comes into your life really soon. I do. Uh, you know, I know that uh, a lot of you have been waiting for that for that love. And you know. Let's see what this says. I got a couple of them, I think. New Moon and Scorpio, go deeper. Go deeper, Sagittarius, go deeper. And then New Moon and Leo, shine. I like that one, shine. Can you see it? <laughs> shine. All right there, uh, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. All right. Bye for now, Sagittarius.